Welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen. I wanted to share today, we're gonna to do some gardening. I'm gonna show you just some free ways, you know, I've spent my money on outside. I need to at least pause. And so I'm, I still wanna make my yard look pretty. I still wanna add things like mulch. And so I'm gonna show you some free ways that I am making my yard look pretty by looking around and seeing what I have already or what can be put in a different spot so that it makes a design, okay? So what I want you to see when you watch my videos, I want you to see possibility for yourself. I want you to go, oh look, she gets tired. Oh look, she does it in short spurts because she can't do her whole basement in a weekend. It's taking her three years, okay? She um, does 20 minutes and then rests for 10 minutes or rests for a half an hour. You know, if she can do it, I think I can do it. That's really what I want you to see when you watch these videos. You may or may not be into gardening, but what I hope you'll do is to be inspired to tackle your own to-do list. Maybe you wanna decorate in your house. Maybe you could bring some of these ideas inside your house. Uh, maybe you can just displace something you find in one area of the house to freshen up another area of the house. So as you watch today, I hope that you're inspired to think about your own spaces. If you're short on money like I am and you can think about what is really around the property, around the neighborhood, that wouldn't be a bad thing to take and use here. What can I transplant? Well, anyway, I don't want to take too long, but I hope you'll feel empowered today to tackle your own home, your own yard, and feel more at peace and that you're in a place that you absolutely love. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm so thankful that my camera's not steaming up today because it is still pretty humid, although it's a lot cooler. It's probably 20 degrees cooler today. It's only like 73 degrees and humid and cloudy, but hopefully it'll be a good day to get going on these things. So first I'm gonna clean out my wheelbarrow because I haven't, and I'm gonna fill it with pie and spills for some free. I've been doing to help keep up my energy is I'm using electrolytes. So I'm not gonna recommend the electrolyte I'm using. It's a lemon lime flavored, so it tastes like lemonade, which I love, but I'm not happy with the type of sweetener they use, so I'm gonna use them up and then I'm gonna do better looking at labels. So when I find one that is worth recommending, I definitely will. But I do feel like it's helping me to keep my energy up and recover from a couple of sicknesses I've had lately. I need to sneeze, allergies, woo. Excuse me. All right, I have a trash these bag. These are some pots that came from the gardening store, so I am actually gonna be using these. So I'm gonna keep these. I doubt I'll use them today, but I am going to keep them to use because, you know, it, I might have, well, I did take these out and put it in larger pots, but there's, I have smaller things that I could put and this would be a larger pot to that particular thing. And then I need to clean this out. If the weather holds, which it is supposed to, it's not supposed to rain, this afternoon, Yvonne and I are supposed to go and pick strawberries. So it's strawberry season here in Maine. And I'm excited. It just started, I think it was this Tuesday, but it was like 95 to 100 degrees. So, you know, and human and being a Mainer, I'm not used to that kind of heat. So, but happy summer. Summer has officially started. I'm gonna keep these just in case. I don't usually reuse these, but I might this year. And that is obviously trash. All right. And then I'm just gonna dump this out. You can see there is just a blanket of pine spills that have come with the wind and the rain. And so I can get those raked up, take them out of the areas where I want grass to grow and fill in over here. So I decided to use pine spills for mulch and thankfully the storms we've had come through have already given me a little bit of a start. So that's, that's pretty cool. I was just looking at a, I have cuts. I am always cutting myself. It's craziness. That's a blister. 
or was a blister from where I burnt myself. I should be getting danger pay whenever I cook. <laughs> or actually the blister I had was we were roasting marshmallows and I was like, I think I was taking a marshmallow off and my hand touched the skewer that we use. I was just kind of thinking because we had raked this out, we either have moss or grass, but it would be kind of cool to have this circle here be like defined and put pine spills in there too. That's an option. This is my daughter Rachel's flower garden and I would like to get more grass around here, which we do, but you got to keep up with the pine. But you can see, and I'll give you a close up here, um, I don't know what is weeds and what is flowers, so we're just going to let it grow. I've been having fun with watching birds this year, really. Um, but it's funny, I haven't been getting big birds. I mean, we always have crows. But, like, I haven't been seeing in my bird feeder uh, blue jays. I haven't seen any morning doves at all in my yard this year. So it's like chipping sparrows, um, tufted titmouse a ton. Uh, yellow finch. I saw a Baltimore Oriole. That was exciting because I don't usually see those. Did I say chickadees? There's one that looks like a chickadee. Is it a wood hatch? I can't remember what it's called. Oh my goodness, there is a squirrel. Is he caught? Oh no, okay. I guess he was playing. I was going to show you, but he got out. Oh, he's going to do it again. He's playing with the cord on the hammock. Isn't that so cute? He's like a cat. He's definitely full because he's been eating from my bird feeder all morning. He's like Leo, but he's a squirrel. I did set an alarm for an hour. Unlike when I'm in the basement, when I'm out here in the yard, time can really get away from me. So I just want to keep track of time. I want to make sure I save some spoons. Have you ever heard that spoon metaphor? That energy is like spoons. You have so many in a given day. If you use more than you have, you know, you're gonna zap yourself for the next day. I came out here because I'm filming. I haven't really done, my husband made the bed. I need to do dishes. So I gotta keep an eye on things so that I have energy to do what needs to be done inside too. We're gonna be a clean with you coming up because I definitely need to clean my house. All right. Maybe I'll... One of the reasons I also like having a bench in the front is it is really di disciplining me to keep the area between my property and the road here clean and looking nice. Which really, it, even though it's not my property, I feel like it affects how my property looks. So I like having it cleaned up. This is the last year I kind of made an attempt, but this is the first year I really cleaned it up. Obviously, I'm getting dirt too, so it might not look amazing day one, but as it dries, I think, you know, it'll look better. But it is a muddy day because we had rain last night. These are great. Especially when you have wet stuff that you're putting in. So this is all free. I got this idea. I was watching Love Meg 2.0, 2.0, and she was mentioning how they use what they call pine straw. I 
think she's in Georgia and it's much longer than this. So at first I was like, oh, well, ours isn't the same. And then I thought, well, I can use that. Why not? What does it matter if the pieces are shorter? It's not something we generally do here in Maine. So I didn't think of it. The gnats want to ruin my fun, but I'm not going to let them. I'm going to have to bring a towel out to wipe this bench down. It's all wet. So what I'll do is lump it down and then spread it with my rake. This will really look in the fall because of rust color. When I get um, some mums, it'll be nice. I can decorate this area for fall with pumpkins and straw and mums. I think I will just kind of stick to doing this for 20 minutes and then do the next thing for 20 and the next thing for 20 and then we'll just continue it another day just so I can show you I basically have you know three or four ideas I'm implementing today and then you know we can do more on another day if you like this type of stuff like when can when um, youtubers ask you what videos you want to see what we're really saying is what would help you so what would I what could I do on this channel that would specifically help you in your area of struggle or an area where you need encouragement let me know in the comment section below let's see if I can rake the driveway kind of lightly so I don't get a bunch of dirt but I'm not really a fan of all of this time still on the drive. Not to mention, I don't want to get all the rocks. Okay, truth bomb. I need to. I need a potty break, and my body's telling me it needs protein. So I'm gonna go in, do my potty break, and get myself a reduced fat cheese stick with some turkey meat and eat that real quick come right back out then once I spread this pine I'm gonna show you my next idea so that we can kind of keep it rolling all right I'm gonna be a little more intentional this time I want it to look as good as possible but I've done 20, 20, 20 in the garden. Just like I do a 20 minute, 20 minute, 20 minute declutter. 
we're doing a 2020-20, improving our yard a little at a time. Now, there's a reason I'm not going all the way back to the stone wall. It has to do with my next free idea. For so many years, I've been sad that I didn't have money for annuals or buckets of flowers, hanging pots, you know, but you've got to look around at what do you have. I have to look around. What do I have? Once I get more rocks painted, I could just lay them down like this all over the mulch. That would be so pretty. My next idea is to look around the property and harvest out, like I have hostas that have kind of grown in areas I didn't plant them. I could dig those up and move them. But what I've really been into right now is ferns. I love ferns and I have them. They're all over the place because they grow in the woods. I did look up and it said to dig like six inches down. But one thing I was going to say is as far as where to plant them, where you could have them, obviously if they're growing in the shade, they do well in the shade, right? So I'm moving them from a shady spot to a shady spot. These I am going to put in the ground because I don't have pots right now. I mean, I have the, um, I have these, right? I could but I think these, I'm just gonna be popping them in here to transport them in my wheelbarrow. Ooh, the sun's coming out, the humidity's gone. This is great. It's gonna be a great day for strawberry picking, which you might see a little bit of that tomorrow. Anyway, so I'm gonna dig some of these up. I'm gonna put them in the ground and I'm hoping they'll do okay. Another day, I would like to get some pots. Maybe we'll do another video that is inexpensive ideas, you know, not free ideas, and I'm gonna you know, put some in a pot too, which probably won't come back, but they're free. So I'm not really worried about it. And there's more where that came from. What are some of the things that you could harvest from your yard and, and beautify a spot? Put it down in the comment section below because somebody else might have the same plant. They might not have thought of that and they'll be like, oh my goodness, I could do that too. These are wild blueberry bush bushes too around it. So when I go to garden centers, I see ferns, so you do want to get a good ball. Also, um, you're going kind of in wooded areas, put bug spray on. I don't know about where you are, but we have ticks here and we get Lyme disease big time. You don't want that. So I'm just keep working it, you know? And if I only did one of these to a day, can you imagine, you know, after 30 days, I'd have 30 of them. So don't feel like, oh, that was me. That's not good. Just stick right here. Get out of the way. Don't feel like you have to do these all in a day. It's just like anything else, you know. If you did one a day over time, you'd have so much done. Just pick a spot that's important to you and work on that a little bit each day. There's this really cute pine tree here too that I like, it's a baby. I always like having some of these pines because then at Christmas time, I can uh, attach them to a wreath form or coat hanger and uh, there you go, three wreaths. Meanwhile, I'm like killing ferns by falling over. Oh goodness. I got enough of the bulb, but I the best I could. Ah, oh, nuts. Look, I broke it. All right, let me try one that's not so far in the woods. Come on, Karen, you're on a video. You're supposed to know how to do this stuff. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I'm just winging it, man. All right, let's try that again. It's just um, rocks. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna need my husband's help. 
I'm gonna keep trying though. I know people do this all the time, right? So if they can do it, I can do it. And I'm stepping on my pants because they're too long. You're dying to say, quit complaining in the comments. I get it. All right, I got deeper this time. Good thing I have a whole forest to learn from. <laughs> I think I'm going to do one today. I maybe should have cleared around it first before I started digging. That might have been a good idea. <laughs> when I lean on the shovel, I fall over. There's a thumbnail. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to try to put it to Put it right in here. Since I'm only doing one today and I have this one I purchased, I'm going to go diagonal and put the other one here. All right, so while I'm doing this, there's more pine stones dropping on my head. So I'm just thinking, oh, look, the Lord is giving me mulch. It's just a whole different mentality than, oh, we're going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to um, break that up. I need my husband. I don't want to break this up. I don't do these things because I know what I'm doing, just so you know. I'm just willing to try. But I'm not strong enough to shovel in there. And if you've got bad knees, I'm just homely right now. Alright. I really want to, don't want to ask for help. I also don't want to keep him here for two hours. All right, he's on a call. So I might find softer ground. So what might happen if I put it here is then I'll put the second one over there and I will um, put the potted one somewhere else. That's a good plan. You know, improvise. That's what we're doing. We're going to improvise. Like everywhere you go is just another tree root, too. It's tree roots, it's um, rocks, it's all the things. need more so that it's a bunch but you get the idea another idea is to look up how to divide the things that you have in your garden so that you can put them other places as well and some things grow wild like I'm pretty sure this is a daisy so we'll have to see what it is when it blooms but sometimes I mean flowers aren't they just pretty weeds if I see something like this that's super pretty and there's not a lot of grass in there I'll have my husband mow around it and then it also is like a pretty garden feature Time for another potty break. Are you taking breaks? I hope you take breaks. Thankfully, my body forces me to take breaks. So I'm going to go take my little break, and then I have another great idea for you. Bring her to my garden. Woo! <laughs> she passed. I have a someday goal of these amazing... <laughs> oh, they're reading glasses. I have two pairs on me. Anyway... <laughs> Um, I've seen these amazing mosaics that people are making with rocks. That's like an end goal for me, but I thought I could do a little design with rocks even now. You know I've been painting rocks, and I haven't done it since that first time, and I, I really would like to do some of that today once I get this video up, and I'll definitely show it to you. But anyway, it's just a nice calming thing, you know? But I thought, well, before I get to the mosaic stage, I can do a little bit to add a little bit of design with rocks. You know, Mainers, and you've seen my gardens that are lined with rocks. 
and I'll show you after this I also have guide, uh, one garden one area that's lined with seashells so as I go to the beach this year I, I'll collect seashells and put use those as decoration as well so it's just another thing of what do I have around me and how could I put it in a formation that looks decorative you could do something similarly with acorns pine cones so many things um, so I, my idea was just to kind of go like, you know, kind of make a wave motion with the rocks. So let's see how far I can get today just going around my garden. And these are all rocks I dug up when I was planting these things. So that's kind of cool. I'm not going to put them right up against each other because I just don't think I have enough rocks because then I could fill in more later. Also, with my little idea that I was showing you, the little rocks can go in between, that I was showing you for the ferns. If you've got bad knees like I do, I want you to promise me you're gonna be very careful because I don't have an ACL and I could definitely feel, which was one thing that was stopping me from the hard ground, I could feel the unsteadiness of it. So don't hurt yourself. It's not worth it. Take the ideas you can use and ditch the rest. Also, I want to thank each of you that are watching ads because that is how I get paid to make videos on YouTube. And I'll be honest, at this level, I don't even make minimum wage. But I appreciate that so very much. It, it really does help me. It helps my family. It allows me to give more as well. And I do want to mention, someone was saying, I just get so many ads. So um, those of you who are watching ads, I want to thank you for each and every ad. But when it gets like crazy, hit skip, please. Don't let it ruin the experience. My job here is to encourage and help you, right? Not to kill you with ads. So if you get too many, like I've noticed, I need more rocks. When I'm watching on my TV, I see more ads than when I'm watching on my laptop or on my phone. It's the funniest thing. So it also, I guess it matters um, what you're watching on. It also matters how many ads you normally watch. So if you kind of pick a number that you can handle and skip the rest, it will train the YouTube algorithm. You might see yourself getting less ads. I don't know. I don't know if that works or not. Because I know that even if I set the number of ads I want, it won't give it to somebody if it thinks you're going to leave YouTube for the day. You know? So I do think you could train YouTube. I could be wrong. This area could use mulch in between. So I might be moving some of these rocks and putting pine in between. Ooh, I like it. Okay. This is a great way to uh, use something that could be annoying to actually make your garden look better. And this is super random. It's not like uniform. What I love is when I was digging, these rocks were annoying to me. And now, they're art. So, talk about you know, taking lemons and making lemonade. Now I'm going to be hunting for rocks. All right. I like to put the tinier ones behind because I don't like them as much. I'm literally walking around the house just hunting for rocks. Which amazingly, are so very easy to find. I want some that are bigger. I don't want them all to be little. All right, I think I got it now. What a great way to clean up the yard, really. I mean, this could have been what inspired cobblestone. It might have been people going, you know what? We need a road. We can't afford a road. So what are we going to do? I know, let's just put a bunch of rocks together. And we'll make a road. All right. Oh, I love it. Seriously. I 
am in love. I have some weeding work to do for sure. I might even use some pine spills because if you don't like acid, you wouldn't be in my garden. But look, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Yes, see, and it, as I add, maybe eventually I'll have a mosaic. Whoa. Goodness. I could add to that little by little. I think it's the intentionality of it that looks good. It's not, I mean, I just threw down rocks. Like, how long did that even take me? Cleaned up my yard of some of the rocks we've got laying around. Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you these shells and then we'll call it good. Hey, maybe I'll even line them with pine cones. Okay. Oh, there's a bee over here. I love when I see bees. Oh, goodbye bee. And the cilantro around because the inside's fine. But this stuff, and look, from the rain, I gotta drain it the best I can. But here you can see the little shells I've put around. And I could even line the rock pathway with shells as I get more and more. Honestly, it's good incentive to be walking the beaches. So remember, as always, God loves you. I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time.